hosted the Cleaner Energy Conference and Expo during the ongoing Shangamuka Shopping Festival in Nairobi to deliberate on promoting the uptake of clean and renewable energy by local manufacturers. The expo focuses on helping the country achieve a clear pathway to net zero climate change and energy security. Edwin John Mukora starts us off. With COP27 slated to take place in Egypt later this month, the discussion on mitigating climate change continues to take center stage. The expo is aimed at exploring alternative energy sources with a special focus on renewable energy and sustainable energy in the country. I'm happy to note that uh, the industries are thinking, the, the manufacturing sector is thinking that direction because the greatest conversation that we are having now is whether to go for profit at the expense of the environment or to, uh, to, 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 to think about our environment. And that's where the energy sector is. Director for Renewable Energy at the Ministry of Energy, Engineer Benson Mwakina, observed that Kenya is endowed with vast natural resources like wind, solar and geothermal energy that need to be tapped into, adding that it was important for the country to grow the local industry for the opportunities to be exploited. So everyone in the East African region is learning from Kenya, and we are very proud of that. And so we are also happy because of CAM and the Center for Energy Efficiency, because whatever we agree to do, we do it together. And the issue of training, they give the, the, the trainings that they plan. Of course, our people, the whole the sector also benefits. Our, our engineers, our officers benefit, and we see how it has brought us together, especially in this reduction of, of CO2 emissions. On her part, the Council of Governors' representative has loaded the local manufacturing sector for embracing clean energy and transitioning to green and sustainable manufacturing as the world faces the impact of climate change. As you speak today again, for three counties have operationalized the county climate change funds to which they allocate about 1% to 3% of their development budgets towards cli climate mitigation strategies. Additionally, these counties have developed climate information service plans, which are estimated to serve approximately 2.5 million people or 375 households in furtherance of this. The Clean Energy Conference and Expo runs alongside the Changamka Shopping Festival, which seeks to celebrate the local manufacturing sector. Edwin John Mukora, Look Up Business. Edwin John Mukora with that particular.